Scott Mom. Good morning. All right, let's bring hands. I'm sitting in a comfortable position, an easy pose. And bringing hands into Jiyan Mudra, thumb and index finger touching, back of the wrist to the knees. Or if you prefer, you can keep your palms open, uh, ready to receive whatever it is that you're supposed to receive from your practice today. And we'll close eyes and begin focusing up at the third eye, that spot right between the brow, just above the brow line. And we're elongating up through the spine, shoulders pulled away from the ears. And taking a moment to really explore where you are right now. Noticing what thoughts are present for you. You might become aware of any noises, the ones that are immediately around you and maybe some of the softer background noises. Perhaps becoming aware of the spots where your body touches the ground, feeling that support being held up by the earth. And let's bring hands into prayer mudra right at the heart center. Tuning in once more to those shoulders, pulling them away from the ears as we elongate up through the spine. Connecting once more with that third eye. So your eyes are closed, focusing up at that space between the brows. And begin inhaling deeply through the nose, all the way down to that navel center. And imagine that new breath, that fresh breath is filling your entire abdomen, lungs, your entire torso up to your shoulders. And with that exhale, release and maybe see if there's any tightness or tension that wants to naturally let go. With that exhale, inhaling all the way to the shoulders and exhale, release, letting go, letting go. Once more, inhale and exhale, release, let go. And we'll open our practice chanting OM. We chant that three times, connecting with each other, with the life energy, the prana within all beings. Inhale and exhale and inhale to chant. Oh. Let's raise arms up overhead. 
Imagine that space between your arms filling with a beautiful light. And as you exhale, release your hands and imagine you're drawing that light around you. Almost like a protective sphere to guide you through your practice today. We'll bring hands back to our knees and begin our Sufi grind. So today we'll be practicing a really special Kriya. It's called the Nabi Kriya. And Nabi refers to the nerve plexus around the navel point. So that, um, you know, so whenever we take in that deep inhale, when we say, okay, we're bringing that all the way down to the belly button, we're talking about this area. It's called the solar plexus. And the solar plexus, um, remember with these Sufi grinds, we're going in one direction. So the solar plexus is um, an area in the body that is associated with the sun, but the sun of the spirit. Um, and it's in ancient medicine is considered the area where the dis-ease actually enters into the body. Um, not only that physical disease, um, like colds or, or flu, but that emotional dis-ease as well. And so one more time in this direction, inhale to center, and exhale, release, continue that same movement in the opposite direction. So we'll be doing a lot of work around these lower chakras, around this core, um, and really, I forgot which way I was going. This way, okay. <laughs> So we'll be doing a lot of um, work to um, really activate, strengthen that area, um, which is so important, especially as we're coming into this time where we might be um, interacting with a lot more family. Um, you know, we're in the holiday season, in the changing weather so um so when we activate this this chakra this third chakra um it's almost like we're creating like a protection for ourselves okay one more time let's inhale to center Exhale, release and roll those shoulder blades away from the ears. And let's continue that movement. Inhaling up, exhale, rolling down the spine. I was actually just reading this poem by Rupi Carr, and it's a very short poem, but it says, To heal, to heal. You have to get to the root of the wound and kiss it all the way up. Okay, one more time. Let's inhale the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, roll them down the spine. All right, very nice. We're going to bring our hands to our, our ankles, our shins, whatever's in front of you, and begin our spine flexes, inhaling the heart forward. Exhaling, rounding back. And I really love that idea of you know, getting to the root and just loving ourselves all the way up um, into healing. It's a very simple vision but so so sweet so beautiful and i think around this time it's important that we be very very sweet with ourselves and with every past version of ourself that is still healing and that's what we'll be working on today with this navi kriya
Okay, so one more time. Let's inhale to center. And as you're pulling that breath up your spine, and then exhale, release. Okay, and we're actually gonna go ahead and start, start um, jump on into our Kriya. So a lot of this Kriya is done laying down on the back. I'm gonna try to find a good angle for that. So we're kind of laying down. And we're going to begin doing some alternative, <laughs> alternative leg lifts. So our hands are flat um, on the ground by the sides, palms pressing into the ground. Our shoulder blades squeeze together. And we're going to inhale the left leg up. And exhale down. Inhale the right leg up. And exhale down and continue that movement. Inhaling up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Again, continue that movement. Taking in that complete breath as you inhale up. And exhale completely as you lower that leg down. And let's do just a couple more on each side. All right. And then we're going to come right into our double leg lift. So we're going to bring our knees to our heart and then inhale both legs up exhale lowering down and stretching those legs back out along the mat inhaling knees to heart and up and exhale lowering down continue that movement we're doing just a few of these Okay, again, keeping the torso and the head on the ground, palms pressing into the mat. You're doing so much work around these lower chakras, right where the, where the root is. And we're bringing that energy up. We're activating the sun, the light within us. Okay, one more time. Inhaling up. And on the exhale, we're going to bring the knees to the heart. And just holding the knees here right towards the heart. I'm going to switch down a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Like I got something. Oh, there we go. It's my jacket. <laughs> so while we have our, while we're holding our knees towards our heart, we can gently sway from left to right. Maybe drawing some circles with the knees. In one direction and then the other. All right, and then coming to stillness, inhaling here and then exhale. We're actually going to lay our hands out, really stretching them out as we stretch the legs out. And then inhaling back to the heart. And then exhale, stretching those arms out along the side, stretching through our pointed toes. Inhaling back to center. Exhale out. 
Let's do that just a couple more times. Inhale in the center. Exhale out. Once more. Inhale. And exhale. Release. And bring the legs back down to the mat. All right. And we're actually going to go ahead and bring the right knee towards the heart and then bring that left leg up to 90. This is our inhale and on the exhale we're going to drop the knee almost like we're kicking ourselves in the butt right getting a move on so inhaling up exhale down and this is a rapid movement with that rapid, powerful breath. So we're moving away from the long, deep breathing and powerfully inhaling up, exhale down. I like to imagine, like I just did a lot of work kind of building up this energy in my solar plexus, and now kicking it all up. <laughs> all right, one more time. Let's inhale up. And then exhale, release. All right, and now we're going to bring this left leg, squeezing the left leg towards the heart, bringing the right leg up to 90, and doing the same thing on this opposite side. That rapid breath, inhaling up, exhale down. Again, it's like we're kicking, our, kicking ourselves in the butt there. Getting that energy, kicking it on up the spine. some front bends they're a little different than our full forward bend okay so we're going to reach our arms up but as we reach up our hands are going to be flexed almost like we're we're like pushing the roof up okay and we're going to keep these wrists flexed so we're inhaling up really pushing up pushing up the roof Longing up the spine, inhale, and then exhale, coming down to the ground. Keeping the, the hands flexed all the way down to the ground, and then inhaling up. And it's okay if you don't touch the ground, you just reach down uh, as far as comfortable for you, but let gravity do the work here for you, okay? We're gonna let the, the torso hang loose. And we'll do that five times. Inhaling up, exhaling down to the ground. And slowly, slowly inhaling up, and exhale down. Inhaling up, and exhale down. Two more times, inhale up, Keeping those wrists flexed. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale down. Let's go ahead and hang here for a minute. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Come rolling up. All right. You guys did awesome. We're gonna come laying down for a very short shavasana, and um, and then we'll 
and then we'll wake up out of that. Okay, <laughs> let's come laying down for just a little bit. Remember in Shavasana, we're allowing our feet to fall over and over to one side. Our palms are laid out to the sides, facing up to, facing up to the ceiling. Eyes are closed. And just allowing our breath to return to its, its natural rhythm. Okay, so anybody, the, the direct care that is monitoring morning yoga, let's go ahead and we can pause for this video for maybe a, a couple more minutes, just allowing patients time to rest. Okay, and coming out of Shavasana, let's inhale and exhale. And inhale, begin to wiggle fingers and toes, circling ankles and wrists. And then inhaling up into a complete Whole body stretch, stretching your arms along the floor above your head, pointing your toes, you like you're pulling in opposite directions. Inhale, and on the exhale, go ahead and bring that left leg up to 90. We're going to wrap the hands around the back of that left leg. And just start pointing and flexing the foot. Inhaling, flexing back. Toes are pointing towards the forehead. Exhale, pointing up towards the ceiling. You can draw circles with the, with the toes in one direction and then the other. Alright. And then we're going to gently lay this left Leg over to the right side, keeping this left shoulder on the mat. Okay, so coming into this nice cat stretch. You can even look over the right shoulder so you get a nice, nice spinal twist here. Taking just a few long, deep breaths here. Enjoying that nice stretch, feeling the ring out the spine. And then, all right, let's go ahead and inhale that left leg back up to 90. And then lowering it back down to the mat. And we'll do the same thing on that opposite side, bringing the right leg up to 90, wrapping hands around the back of that right leg. And stretching that foot, inhaling. The toes back towards the forehead, exhale, pointing them up to the ceiling, drawing circles with the toes. All right, inhaling up, back up to 90, and then exhaling over to that left side. Okay, keeping the left shoulder on the mat, looking over the left shoulder, just getting into that nice spine twist. All right, 
and then inhaling all right back up to 90. now let's go ahead and bring the left leg up to meet the right and then pulling both knees towards the heart we're going to reach through the legs wrapping our hands around the out the, the top of the feet okay wrapping our hands around the outside of the feet or you can hold on to the big toes with your middle and your index finger and then pulling the feet apart and imagine that big smile stretching from left to right as we rock from left to right and happy baby inhaling from the left exhaling to the right And again, practicing a little bit of that smile yoga, imagining that smile stretching from left to right, down into your heart, just imagining a smile. You might imagine a smile in your eyes, a smile stretching through your eyebrows your shoulders and from the left sole to the right sole inhale into center exhale bringing the soles of the feet together bringing knees together holding those knees towards your heart bringing forehead to the knees let's begin rocking back and forth on the spine Inhale, all the way up, back into seated. All right. That was a really awesome practice, you guys. So let's bring hands back into prayer mudra. We'll close our practice chanting Satnam, which means I am truth. Inhale. And exhale and inhale to chant. So Shake out your hands. Shake out the hands, shake out the legs, the shoulders, you can come standing up and shake it all out. Woo! All right. And I hope you guys have a really um, lovely day. Sat down.